All right, so we're here with Opera, and we actually have pretty big Opera news this week, right? Yes, so this week we released uh, Opera Mini 6 and Opera Mobile 11. Uh, so this is Opera Mini 6 running on the, the uh, Google Galaxy S. Um, this is what we uh, call our landing page, what we call speed dials. Mm -hmm. So users can put their nine favorite websites there, and this can be synchronized between your tablet browser and your desktop browser and any of your Opera products. Um, so, you know, we've revitalized the UI in this new version, but it still feels very familiar. All of the settings are now down here in this little Opera button. We still have uh, our visual tabs, which show you which pages you have open. One of the most requested features on the new smartphone version was to have a more integrated and better smartphone browsing experience. Mm -hmm. So we've, you know, one of the biggest things was pinch zoom. So we've added in multi-level pinch zoom. So, you know, we've put a lot of work into making it really smooth. You know, uh, it's really it's really nice performance, and it's generally a lot of fun to use. Um, another big feature on the uh, the Android platform is obviously we've integrated into the share framework, so you can share URLs with your friends through any application mm -hmm. that registers for it. And uh, obviously, um, along with uh, the new phone version, is uh, the tablet UI. So I'll switch to the the Galaxy Tab here. So um, this is Opera Mobile running on the Galaxy Tab. Uh, both versions are available on Android. Opera Mobile is our full client-side browser, mm -hmm. whereas Opera Mini uses server-side compression to speed up web pages. In the tablet version, all of the elements are up in this top bar here, but you still have all of the features like the, uh, the, uh, the multiple tabs and all of the features down here, like share and bookmarks and save pages. With the mobile version, we integrate into the plugin. Um, but as you can see here, uh, we do plug-in on demand, so it won't load all of the Flash elements on the page. Mm -hmm. It will just give you boxes where you can click to load up the Flash you want, so that saves. And obviously on this version, we put a lot of work into making it a really smooth experience as well. It's uh, very hard to get checkerboarding on this build. We've actually redesigned... <laughs> redesigned you, you've been trying, huh? <laughs> yeah, we redesigned. We actually re completely redesigned the way we draw to pages, so we don't get any more checkerboarding when you scroll in and out. And you know, It gives a really smooth experience on these devices. Very, very cool. At this point, especially with the faster speeds, with LTE now really taking off here in the States, is do you see Opera Mini disappearing at any point, or is there enough legacy left and, and enough devices that are... Well, um, on, on the high-end smartphone platforms, it really is like uh, we would recommend users download both, and then there are circumstances where you want to use one or the other. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're on Wi-Fi or on an LTE connection, then Opera Mobile is going to give you your best, best browsing experience, and we put a lot of work into increasing the level of standards performance, so actually we have uh, the highest level of HTML5 compliance of any mobile browser at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's going to give you the best in class browsing experience. But then if you're roaming abroad or if you're on a slow network, there's definitely need for Opera Mini. It's going to give you those speed increases up to six times faster on slow networks. And, you know, the 90% compression if you're roaming and you're, you're on a metered, uh, a metered per megabyte payment system, mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to save you a lot of money as well. So. Very cool.